2019 was a historic season for El Paso Locomotive FC that fell just short of a Western Conference title and a USL Finals appearance. Not bad in year one of the franchise, but the bar has been set high and really high, as a matter of fact, as they enter the 2020 season looking to knock down the door. Locomotive playing a preseason match today across the border against FC Juarez. Most of the uh, reserves for this Bravos team, that is. First half action, it's Nick Ross. Fun in the back of the net. Ross back for another season in El Paso after netting two goals in 2019. And then it's Saeed Robinson. Check out the newcomer. He's going to beat the keeper for the uh, goal. Locomotive. They win it 2-0. And our very own Colin Deaver, well, he was there for it all. There's very few places in the world where a club soccer team can literally walk across a bridge into another country and play a match against another team like Locomotive FC did with FC Juarez on Wednesday. This match was twofold. It was about getting Locomotive FC ready for its second season in USL Championship, but it was about a whole lot more for these two clubs who were separated by just a few hundred yards. Few things show off the bond of our two borderland sister cities like their two biggest soccer clubs getting together for an exhibition match. Unity, that's that's one. I mean, there is a, a certain unity in between both teams. I mean, we're borders. We know what's up in that. That's why it's so unique. I think that's that's why it's awesome for the new guys to get to experience it. I mean, I'm from here, so it's normal for me, but for a lot of these guys, it's, it's their first time, so it's an awesome experience for all these guys. For both the Bravos and the Locos, today was about the brotherhood they share as members of the Mountain Star Sports Group, but they've developed a friendly rivalry, too. It's a good day just to get together and be with friends, and I think you saw that before the game now, in these moments, uh, the closeness of the two groups, and that we're able to play a good game, again, whether FC Juarez put their first team out or their second team or... Uh, you know, a reserve team, it's it's always a good game. It's a theme of identity. It's a situation we have to continue incentivizing and encouraging. We're very happy that the sub-20 team of FC Juarez was able to help El Paso Locomotive. It helps us too because we have an important match this Sunday. After today's exhibition match with the Bravos, Los Locos will continue their preparations for the upcoming USL Championship season, which begins on March 6th. Their first home match is on March 14th. For now in Juarez, Colin Deaver, KTSM 9 Sports. All right, thank you, Colin. Also happening tonight in Juarez, the second leg of the Copa MX Finals. Bravos hosting Dorados de Sinaloa. A full day in our uh, sister city over there for uh, our very own Colin Deaver.